Hi, this is Jessica Sudamer, thegreenlightcoach.com, and the number five question that people should be asking me frequently but don't is, what is my long-term goal and how do I get there? And I covered this a little earlier on another question where I talked about goal setting. And I really want to press this point because I've really found that through all my years of coaching, most people don't know how to get to what their long-term goal is. In fact, when I ask people, what's your long-term goal, the answer I most frequently get is, I just want to be working. So that's not specific enough. You want to get really clear and specific on what your goal is because if you want people to help you, they have to know how to help you. So if people are like, well, what do you need? How can I help you? What is your goal? And your goal is just to be working. Well, if they're working in films and TV and commercial, like they don't know where to put you. So you want to make it really easy for people to help you. So if you say, well, my goal is to be working on feature films in the one to three million dollar budget range as a camera operator. Well then they know where that fits in. They can go through their mental Rolodex of who do I know that works on the one to three million dollar budget range. Now the reason why you might set that goal for yourself is because 10 years from now you want to be working on hundred million dollar budget ranges which means if you want to be working on $100 million budget ranges 10 years from now, five years from now, you're going to have to be in the $50 million budget range, which means you know, three years from now, you're going to be, have to be working on the $1 to $10 million budget ranges. So if you start with the $1 to $3 right now, or if you haven't even worked on $1 to $3 yet, then you're going to be looking for the budget ranges under a million. So knowing what that long-term goal is helps you break it down. And then let me break it down further for you than I've done before. And that is, once you break it down into your one-year goal, like where do you have to be a year from now to set yourself up for where you're going to be in 10, 20 years, then you say, what do I need to accomplish each month? What are my milestones? What's going to get me there? How many new relationships do I have to create this year? How many days do I need to work? And on what types of projects do I need to be working on? In what budget range? In what genre? Am I working in television? Am I working in film? Am I working on commercials? How many networking events do I need to attend? How many mentors do I need to get this year? And you break that down over 12 months time. And then each month you can look at, well, if I have 12 months to get this many and I'm doing this many this month, what do I have to do? You look at that month and work backwards. Where do I have to be at the end of the month? So let's say your goal is to have three mentors by the end of the month. Well, then you look at the first week. In the first week, you have to research the mentors, you have to write letters to those mentors, you have to make sure you have contact information to those mentors so that you can send out the letters. In the second week, you want to follow up with the mentors to see if they received your letters. You want to make sure you have questions designed in case they call you back to follow up. Now, if you follow up with those three mentors and don't get a response, you still have a goal of getting three by the end of the month, which means you're going to write new letters to new people because you have to make sure that even though these first three might not have responded that then you have more people to keep writing to because the goal is to get three by the end of the month and if that means that a few people follow up with you after the fact and you have six people well that's great those are A-list problems as I call them so basically what you want to do is have your long-term goal be really clear on what it is. So when people say to you, well, what do you want to do in your career? You say, well, I want to be a series regular on a television show. And on my hiatus, I want to be working on romantic comedy feature films. That's very specific. Now, what will happen is sometimes people get afraid to be that specific because they say, well, I can do romantic comedies, but I also really like drama and I also really like sci-fi and I can do westerns and period pieces are so cool. But here's the thing. You can tailor it to the person you're speaking to if you know their genre. But if you're really, really passionate about romantic comedies, like I am, you want to let people know what you're really passionate about, and they will always give you a counteroffer if they have something else going on. So if I say, well, I really want to be doing romantic comedies, and they say, well, you know, I'm working on a family drama right now, and they say, oh, I would love to read the script. I love family dramas. So it's not like they're going to be like, oh, she only does romantic comedies and walk the other way. People like to, you know, they like to talk about what they're doing and they like to get help, so they'll always give you a counteroffer. 
So be specific about what your long-term goal is. Take it back 10 years, five years, one year. Once you know what your one-year goal plan is, come up with all the different actions that it's going to take to achieve that goal in a year. Once you know what you need to achieve in the year and you've broken it down over the 12 months, then go month by month. And once you break down each month, you break it down by week. I know it sounds a little complicated if you've never tried it before, but it's actually really simple when you sit down to do it. And every successful company out there, and remember, you are a company, every successful company has a business plan for the year so that they can see how they're doing in sales, how they're doing in marketing, how their company is growing, and where they need help. So you need to do the same thing for yourself because that's how you succeed.